or one of our users is reporting great difficulty managing layers and he's working on a drawing somewhat like this, although this is not his drawing, I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. And it's a good idea to put various elements in your design work on individual layers, which is what he's trying to do in this instance. And let's take an example um, where we might want to put create a layer, um, we'll call it shade sail, and we'll pop this symbol on it. So if I zoom in here and select that symbol, there happens to be a block called shade sail. But when we're developing, uh, say, a 3D concept design, we don't want to show that because we'll pull something in from the uh, 3D modeling warehouse perhaps to show that. So we want to eliminate this from the dr drawing, leave it there, but of course not show it as we perhaps lift something from here into a 3D modeler like um, SketchUp. So let's hit escape and let's go to our layer list and let's just call make a new layer. We'll just call it test. There's one there called text and rocks and so on. So our user has clicked made a new layer, it happens to be called layer one. To give it a more meaningful name, uh, we'll call it shade. And uh, we have to hit the enter key to burn it in. And if I click away from it, the current layer is layer zero. But notice that um, there's a, the little indicator here to the left of the word shale shows that there's nothing actually on it. And that's the key to solving his particular problem. Because if we say, okay, we've made that layer called shade, and now we can select the symbol. We want to pop it on that layer. It's currently on a layer called shade hatch. So let's put it on layer shade, which we just made. And can you see there's no evidence of the new layer shade there. Why is that so? Well, let's hit escape and move back here. What's happened is he's using with this particular indicator on, he's saying, oh, I will see and I will work with all used layers in the drawing. And remember, we made one called shade and there was nothing on it. We can now see it. If we click here, all, there's our shade one and one called umbrella, nothing on them. So if we okay it and we'll come back again, you remember we selected the symbol and then came here and we now can, we now have shade available. So we can go across here to layer and magically the new layer we just made called shade is now available to us and we can hit and it now is a solid indicator, tells us that there's something on it and then we can do that and we can move it. So we just turned it, moved it to a layer that we can easily turn off. So if you're not aware of the difference between looking at the whole list of all layers in the drawing versus all used layers, you can, as has happened here, make a whole series of layers called umbrella, L dash umbrella, L dash shade sails. They've all been made with this all use layers view showing. So that's of critical importance to manage layers properly in the GCAD Plus environment.